would be very surprised if Blacklist lose this game. As I mentioned, I see this lineup, these players, they have been known to surprise, to win versus some big teams. So we'll see if uh, if the supports are going to be making their way. Speaking about being pressured then first blood, there it is. Dims is going to be getting it. I'm not sure if it was the right click or the Bramble May stick that actually got the kill. But in the end, it doesn't matter. Actually, it does a decent amount of damage to the uh, to the anti-mage. Only one point in counter spell. I'm probably not going to be getting much in it. TP to the bottom lane. Nice dodge on the adaptive strike. Gets himself into the trees. Beautifully done by Gabby. We talked about, is he proficient in the mischief? Okay, again into the trees. Spring away. 11 does die on the other side of the map. Abad, that's going to be his first rotation. And the Morphling, not the easiest to target. Especially because you can hear the onslaught. Trying to find an opening. Morphling. Boundless strike. Will connect. He did get the morph off, so he will be fine. There's the bedlam. Onslaught not available on Abad. He does have the blade mail, however, so that's gonna protect him. And the polarize you went too deep. Threatening with the terror ice. He wants to save his buddy. Actually misses onto the Doom. We're still really speedy. Going for Abad. There will be a last on taste. Does get taken down, but finally they do bring down the beast. As the monkey hiding in the trees. There will be a coil onto Carlo, breaking onto high ground, but he does get taken down. Sanctity will be able to pick it up. A two for two. Support and a core on each side. Kick the bucket. His Scorched Earth will expire, and that is a huge deal. He doesn't have 530, but 420 movement speed, so he can definitely die. He does have the Doom. Nobody can help him at the moment. Nobody is that close to the Twin Gates, and 11 is looking very much that there's the Lasso, the Bedlam, and the Curse Crown. In the end, he will die, probably giving the kill to Raven. There's the Mana Void. He gets himself a kill, while the rest of IHC, they weren't helping him, but we're going for something else. This is going to be a red flag from everybody, for everybody on the side of Blacklist. You can already see Abed not wanting to come over. Okay, the Shroon, it might bait him, and the Haste is not going to be picked up by him. The uh, Stun onto the high ground, Coil as well. Blade Mill now is going to be expiring. He's going to be using the Pulverize onto the puck and the terrorize does absolutely nothing they bring him down once again he wanted the rune he didn't get it and he just loses his life ace will be taken down at least a constellation prize for blacklist but dying twice in a row the primal beast is not gonna be great for him this they know where i see is now they don't want to be going for it that's that's too deep oh morphling no way they left the war they just left there and I actually can't believe that 423 was farming there. It was kind of obvious that something was going on. Tims does have the Shadow Realm. He's looking pretty much dead, right? It's just a matter of time before he dies. He just does as much damage as he can before that does happen. Hmm? Nice deny on the rune. Carlo puts himself in a pretty uncomfortable position. And the puck will finish him off even without the coil being used. That which blade really coming in handy. And Sanctity is getting a ton of kills. 4-0-2 on him. I think Tims would have preferred it. Extra brambles on the ground are super hard to deal with. But I guess it's fine. Smoke onto smoke action. The mage doesn't have his Aghanim Scepter just yet. Lincoln Sphere on the Morphling, jump in onto the three of them. There's gonna be Doom immediately onto the Primal Beast, but he can run away. Sudden will cost Matty, he's bringing to protect it, jumping in from the tech. He doesn't have that much mana to work with. The last is gonna be used, and Morphling turning into the Primal Beast, going through all of them, doesn't have any more mana. The anti mage is draining it all away, and now he's gonna drain his life too. Sanctity next on the menu, he's gonna have a blink in a second, so he should be able to get out of that one without his life being taken. But 11, just not gonna be so lucky. He is speedy. The Curse Crown will make sure that he stays in place. Now the Anti-Mage with all of those slows will not allow him to move. And 11 will be the third casualty here for IHC and the fourth casualty of war. All in all, Sanctity trying to be annoying to Gabby. I don't see him killing him, especially with the mech being used. But Sanctity is going to try to find something, Tims. Next on the menu, Silence will connect. Doesn't have the Guardian Greaves just yet. So no way to remove the Silence. Goes for the Shadow Realm. And the Witchblade does finish him off. Sanctity, nice play. A little bit of a consolation prize there after a lost fight. It was a long fight. Feels like a World of Warcraft boss fight, but they do bring him down in the end. And you always have to have it in the back of your head that you can get caught. Morphling in the puck a little bit less so. 
Tier 3 neutral is coming out, and there's the rotation onto 11. Has the BKB, pops it, goes for the Doom onto Monkey King, who did pop a BKB as well, so really not gonna be taking all that much damage, but Doom is speedy, and he will be running away. Abed has the gem, has the BKB, has to be careful not to die. Raven joining in on the fight, the Blink Fragment still hasn't been used, and finally 11 is gonna be going down while Raven is slaughtering the support. He's not gonna be missing on anything. The reactive taser not doing anything to them. Using the Blink Fragment onto Sanctity, who only has the silence to go to the side, doesn't have the Blink, has the face shift at least, so he's gonna be able to blink himself away to the side. Let's see if they can run him down. They see Sanctity clearly, and this should be a dead puck if they do this chase properly. Sanctity is gonna do his best to stay alive, but now without the blink, he's just gonna have the orb. How do you get out of this one with your life intact? The answer is you do not. Abed will finally get his hands onto Sanctity, and Sanctity will lose his life. And he was just able to stand his ground. They tried to do it before the, the uh, BKB, before the Wukong's command. Oh, actually, now you can pop the BKB after the uh, Doom. I guess he wanted it after, before the Wukong's command. Oh, jump in. Ace is very much dead. Sen next on the menu. Tried to get himself away, but not gonna be happening. Just easy two kills. This is the thing. Now Raven can do whatever the hell he wants. Carlo also has a 4 staff ready. This is the anti-mage timing. 25 to 35 minutes. It is when the hero is at its strongest. Hitting critical mass. He is 5 slotted. I actually make that 6 slotted now when the uh, Scotty comes over. 30 minutes into the game. What the hell? Sanctity? Puts himself in a pretty uncomfortable position. The Blink Fragment was used. They found him. The Onslaught is there. Terrorize connects as well. And goodbye Puck. Coming in for the swap. Say will just be a bonus kill. Uh, Solar Crest doesn't really protect you in a situation like that when you're surrounded by a billion heroes. As Blacklist, sending the Blick Fragment onto the high ground there. Morphling has the uh, smoke on himself, so will be able to run himself out. And Abed, if you look at him, he's the one with the lowest HP pool between uh, two agility heroes on his side. Pretty, uh... Pretty uncharacteristic for the Primal Beast, but he will be going for a Hex, you blink Hex, you Pulverize, or you blink Pulverize and you Hex. And that is a great catch for both the Morphling and the Puck. Scan, nicely done. They find Blacklist. They know that they're coming. They go for a smoke. Nice vision there. Actually going for Tim's. Doesn't have the Guardian Reese. Has the wand charges, but he's still dead. Buck finishes him off there with a Parasma. As Morphling is losing some mana. Jumping in by Raven. Se has been found. Ghost Scepter will be protecting him from the Anti-Mage. Not really from the uh, Firefly. As the Puck going a little bit too deep. He does go for the Face Shift. I don't know if you're getting out of this one live. The Doom onto Abed. He's the one with the gem. Doesn't want to die. But actually will be taken out. Raven is beyond gone like destroying everybody. A nice blink away from the Morphling turning into the Anti-Mage. They steal the gem. I think. Nope. No, it didn't happen. Oh, ho, ho. there's the Mana Void coming out from the Anti-Mage. And still hasn't decided what to get from his level 25. Let's, uh... Blink Fragment comes into play, just sending it forward. At least the Morphling will turn into an Anti-Mage, so we'll have the extra mobility. A minute and a half on the Aegis, Sticky Bomb. Gonna be doing some damage, but overall... No, nothing much is gonna be done there. Just looking at the Anti-Mage, take your base! This is your base? Nope, it's mine. He is taken over. Or to think about jumping into the backline, he's gonna do just that. Doom onto the Primal Beast, will pop the BKB, trying to run away. The swap will not allow that to happen, but the anti -mate jumping in to destroy all of them says just dead. Wukong Samad doesn't want to leave it, and in the end, Abed will die once again. Buyback from the Vengeful Spirit, coming back into it. 4 to 3, has to be very careful. The stun on the Raven, he still has the Aegis. He's dropping low, standing his ground, and will actually lose his life. Do they have enough lockdown to bring him down again? Gabby is being taken down, surrounded by the enemies. He's pretty tanky, not tanky enough, and this will allow some space for the anti to run away with the Disperser on him. His movement speed is insane. His mobility around the map is insane. But you did lose four heroes with only one buyback being used on the other side. Carlo in a good position to break the smoke. And this is going to take a long time. Both the Roche and this wraparound coming up from IHC. From which angle do they come? Puck leading the charge, but he's gonna deal with the creep wave first. That should have been spotted. And the road dropping low with the bedlam being used. He is gone. Everything's gonna be picked up. The Aegis from Raven. Still a good position for the side of IHC. They're not gonna be getting a much better one than this one. Eleven coming forward. He wants to find Abed. Look at Raven in his good positioning. Sends the blank fragment. And Monkey King? Nope. Doom. That's connect on him. You're not gonna be using anything, but the anti mage still doing so much damage. Buyback gonna be coming through immediately. They still have that tier one. That is so bad, and it hasn't been taken down for such a long time. 
43 is doing a solid amount of damage, but now versus the anti-mage, you're gonna be in so much trouble. Anti-mage does get disarmed. Reactive taser coming into play. They're definitely controlling him nicely, but the monkey is back. Gabby, he did buy back and immediately came back into the fight. 43 turns into the anti-mage, blink away immediately, and Sanctity, he's back to the fight as well. Nice call there to finish off Abbott, who does have a buyback. Still 43 without any mana. He's just in so much trouble. He's standing his ground and fighting, but you're fighting a losing battle, actually. Are you? It is so many heroes versus the anti-mage. He's lost both of his cores and no buyback from Abbott. He doesn't want to be a part of this fight. That's going to be the Aegis gone. Raven going to be stunned up immediately. Let's see if they can finish him off. He's trying to fight. No. No way in hell that this anti-mage is dying once again. And in the end, they did overwhelm the fight. How many buybacks was that? Sanctity? Oh, he finds Thims. Every single fight that ends, Sanctity just kills Thims. Okay, two buybacks on one side, three on the other one. So Blacklist, they did buy back three of their heroes. They lost the Aegis, so definitely a lost fight for them. But IHC, they're winning versus some top dogs of the Southeast Asia region. Everybody had, had big hopes for, Bla for Blacklist. I don't know if that's the case any longer. One lane of racks gone, second lane of racks gone, the third one, you can't take it. We talked about that tier one, sure have it. And the banner will be taken down as well. Okay, at least the morph on the anti-mage will be stopping. The ward and the sentry have been placed. They see clearly what's inside of the enemy base. Refresher on the doom. So he's gonna delete one hero, delete the other hero as well. I'm gonna be watching out for that. Swap on the anti-mage. He does use the counter spell, but the coil has been used. Lasso onto the uh, vengeful spirit, but the anti-mage is dying. He does have a buyback. He will be using it right now. That was without the doom. We'll see on who he uses is he's not using a single doom he has two of them and now dead for 120 seconds two minutes on the sideline say will you lose his illusion as well no way no way you just lost the game like this maybe they can get a lane of rags the bottom tower is pretty low seven seconds with the glyph that's how much you can buy let's see sending in the uh, blink fragment say He's gonna go for a swap on Raven. Yes, he will. The call. It's actually missed. Sanctity makes an uncharacteristic mistake and Seno just dies for nothing. His illusion is gonna be in trouble as well. He does use the swap. That's gonna delay his death. Not that much, actually. They're gonna be going for more. Doom doesn't have a buyback for 25 seconds. He's gonna be alive fairly soon. Glyph is available, so you can buy some time. But it is gonna be a 4 versus 5 anyways. Where it could have been a 6 versus 5 in your favor because of that Venge Illusion. Raven getting gone on, taking some damage. Sticky Bomb did connect. Morphling, he did pop a BKB a little bit preemptively. He doesn't want to get his mana taken away. Ace is in trouble, has to go somebody. He's gonna get hexed up and no Ghost Scepter for you. Mana Void making sure that he's not going anywhere. That's a level 25 Monkey King thinking about going for a push. Decides against it to the buyback of the techies. It is time to bail. There is a Tormentor to pick up if you feel confident going for it. But they're just gonna TP away. Sanctity. I think Daedalus is gonna be on the menu, but Blacklist are coming from the side this time around. They're gonna be the ones having the better positioning when it comes to the fight. Kicking Wukong's command in a couple of seconds. If you get a good one there around the pit, it is gonna be a disaster. And he's running in, has to be very careful. Jumps to the side, Doom still not level 25, and the Roche will fall. It's gonna be a refresher on the puck, really big. Terra does connect onto Sanctity. That is a hero that you should just focus on. Lincoln Sphere does get used, but look at the Wukong command in the back. Gabby, ah, oh, the real carry here. The Morphling is standing on the ground. He does have the Aegis still. Doom will get used on Gabby, but he has already used his spells while the anti mages are slaughtering everybody. You've already killed the supports. Sanctity trying to get away, not gonna be happening. Raven gets a double. The buybacks are coming through from the supports. Blacklist, they know that this is their chance to win the game. They are not aware that the puck doesn't have a buyback. So nobody going to take it, which means that the Mega Creeps are all but certain here, especially with the Wukong's man being committed. Nobody is coming over for that one. Even with the swap, you cannot take him out. You would just be putting yourself in harm's way. That's Mega Creeps from Blacklist. So the Monkey King wants the Disperser, has the Refresher. That Refresher is so huge. You get to the enemy base, use the Wukong's man. There's nothing they can do about it. If you don't get swapped out, you're pretty much fine. The smoke was used, and the lasso immediately onto Doom, but the swap is there to make sure that the lasso does absolutely nothing. So broken. Aklis still searching for something. If you go up the high ground versus the Wukong's command, you're gonna be dosed. 4-2-3, turns into the anti-mage, Wukong's command, Doom. 
Into the Dark Willow. There's the Wukong's man. Onto the backline. He has found the two supports. And look at this. Dark Willow already dead. You've lost over your supports who don't have buybacks. They will lose the Doom. Does have a buyback immediately. But look at what Gabby's doing to them. The Morphling going into the Wukong's man. Doesn't matter. That is where this guy wins. Nice swap to break the call. Beautifully done. And just protection. Some provided there from the anti mage. But the ally counter spell won't be able to change anything. The Morphling didn't lose his life. But he got an ultra kill from that battle. Doing so much damage. But can you really push down mid lane right now? The uh, tier 5 items. It will come in 2 minutes. The question is, will the players... Aven is going for the Morphling, dodges it with the waveform, goodbye mana, goodbye Morphling, he has the Lincoln Sphere, there is broken with the mana void, but doesn't matter, the Rectus are gonna be more than enough, immediate buyback, and goes for the Boots of Travel to onto his doom. It's a push. They're going for the throne. They want to end it right now. They have a Deso on the puck. And this might be a nice move. There is a Glyph. Seven seconds bought. Another wave of creeps is coming. You're dealing with Mega Creeps. And you want to win this one. Even before tier 5 items. Morphling doesn't have a buyback. Has to be very careful. His Lincolns not broken just yet. They're buying time for their supports. Jumping in. Onto the Morphling. Getting him down. Nope. The swap is there. He's going to be fine. Actually turns around onto the Antimage. He wants to fight. That's a little bit too deep. The Doom will get used. And the Antimage does die. Does go for a buyback. Can immediately get back into the fight. Abed was doomed as well as sanctity is focusing on the tier three tier four he might be able to get the second tier four down and will be able to do so the throne is exposed but still you are dealing with mega creeps yeah just stack up those mirror shields and you're gonna be fine versus the doom force boots on the morphling so he sells the boots and buys the rapier doesn't have a buyback doesn't care and roche he is not the top dog any longer will be a refresher roche's banner Refresher onto the Dark Willow. Maybe trying to cut some waves. Maybe wants to go for the throne. Him and the Morphling. Oh, they can make a play. No Glyph. They're going for it. They're going for it. Can they go through the backdoor protection? That is the question. Gonna try. See, he's waiting to see the heroes. He's waiting to see the Morphling. Just don't die. He's staying in a base. He doesn't care. Let's see if this is gonna work. We don't care about the fight. We only care about the throne. And let's see how much damage can they actually do. The minus armor is there. TPs are coming in. And the Terrorize onto the Morphling. Pops the BKB. The throne is in so much trouble. They are going through IHC with a play. You did kill the two supports. Nobody cares. The game is called Defense of the Ancients. And Blacklist, they were unable to defend theirs. There it is, I see they get the victory, and this is the first underdog victory of the day. And I'm very happy about it. I am very, very happy about this underdog victory. It looked really good for Blacklist for the majority of the game. Raven was unstoppable 